Well, hey y'all. Okay, we're on to the next part of the lesson, and as you can see, I've been kind of goofing around with this. And you can also see that I've made a couple of different patterns with darker colors. So we started out with that light color, and then I've just kind of been playing around with the paintbrush. And you know me, I usually work from light to dark, and the same is here. Same principle stands with the mice. So if you have a couple of different shades, let's see. Flesh tint would work. And then I think back here somewhere, I've got a good sepia. A sepia is a fun color because it's really kind of like a warm additive. Um, and it'll look almost like a brown. It really isn't. Neat thing about these little FW bottles is that it has a little eyedropper feature to it. So my pressure's up about, I'd say 15 to 20 right now. And as we're going from light to dark, the less time you spend outside the lines, the less spray over you're going to get. And you can really see the difference when you have spray over. So what I mean by that is you want to spend more time painting the brush area than you do around it. So for example, you can see the pattern you get, but then if you were to spray around it, this is the stuff you want to avoid. And then, like we were doing before, you can press that down, flip it over, and continue. Now I've got this a little bit wetter than I, than I want, but it will dry on its own, and that's kind of what you want anyway. You just kind of want to play around with this. And as you do side by side, you're going to start to see that hair pattern take shape. Another, another trick that I do is that I'll, I'll almost get this brush dry. And you can see, let's find a clean spot here on this scrap of paper. I'm almost going to need another piece of paper. But this, when you pull this down, also makes a line or hair type pattern. And you can do that in various directions. Okay, and of course it's going to fade as it dries out, and that's okay. You want that. You really don't want to come at this with a very wet brush unless you're spraying through it. So I've got a little bit of sepia out. I also have some pearl white. Um, and this is one of the reasons that I generally don't go from dark to light. I'm not even going to worry about getting the dark stuff out of the chamber. It's all going to blend and get copacetic. Just kind of blow some of that off and see what we're looking at. It's almost like an olive green now. I'll tell you that sepia really... It's almost like a changeling color. Okay, and then just practice. That's really all you want to do with this is practice on scrap before you try and put it on a wake bait. And then as you can see, as I come down this and you can kind of see where I'm going with that. The hair can change direction. So this is the kind of practicing that you guys want to be doing. And you want to work from lighter shades and then throw the darker across it. And the darker will emphasize the lighter hair patterns on top. So that's where we are. That was lesson two. Now we're going to be working into shades. And on the next one, we're going to pull out a wake bait and we're going to get started.